Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Lewis with GameFrame Development. I am coming to you with some information in regards to a new pro- well, I couldn't really call it a new program, it's actually been around for a few years, um, but definitely a uh, very cool program uh, that I've uh, been using uh, to create materials for my Blender product, um, my Blender creations, um, as well as just general art, um, painting, sketches in general. And I wanted to show you guys this um, because it it's really just it's really just a good program and it is absolutely free. Uh, but before I go into what that is, this is in lieu of Adobe Photoshop. Um, if you want to get um, the newest one, um, you can absolutely get it. You can get it from Adobe right here. This is the web page that they have. Um, it is $49.99 a month. Um, if you prepay, it's $600 a year. Um, I don't have $600 a year that I'm just going to blow on a piece of software that I do use fairly, that I would use fairly frequently, um, but over the course of a couple of years, you've spent $1,200 on a program um, that you you can get an alternative of for free. Um, I've used Photoshop before. Um, I know people who have it and I've used it on their computers. If you go to Office Depot and you need to do something briefly with some image editing, they'll let you use it for free because um, they have it. Um, and this is the, the latest one. This is CS6 that I'm looking at right now. Um, this is complete right here. Um, I guess you can get one of these. Um, Okay, so th this is their yearly price. Okay, this is if you're not paying it by the month. And this is absolutely ridiculous. It, it, uh, beyond the fact that you can't even just buy it outright anymore. Um, if you wanted to buy Photoshop outright, you have to get CS5. And that's still $650, as you can see here. Um, which is also absolutely um, beyond me as to why somebody would pay this much money for a program. Um, that, like I said, you can find an alternative of for free. Um, now, I've tried programs like uh, Art Rage Studios, um, which is right here. This is Art Rage Studio. Um, this came free with a Wacom tablet. I have a tablet and pen. This is it right now um, that I'm moving around with. Um, and this program is, uh, I mean, if you guys can use it, that's great, but this, this is not an awesome program. Um, it's really 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 limited um, and this is Autodesk Sketchbook Express I have no idea how much Autodesk Sketchbook premium or whatever they may call it is going to cost I'm sure it's not far behind Photoshop um, and these options are, are trash uh, I mean there's one two three four five six seven eight different brushes and um, although it does work uh, fairly well with the pen um, Actually, no, it doesn't. I'm just kidding. You can't, you can't, there's no sensitivity on this. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's no sensitivity at all. Um, so this doesn't really work with, with pens. I mean, it works with pens. I can use my pen, which is great, but it doesn't work, um, you know, as well as, let's say, um, that, that you would get in, um, in Photoshop. So, I mean, just creating something kind of just off the top of your head um, is, is, is actually fairly difficult uh, because you don't have a lot of options. You don't have much to work with. Um, so, I mean, if you like these, again, if you like these programs, I'm not knocking on your preference. I'm just knocking on the program itself because it's trash. Um, and then I decided, I was like, you know what, I'm going to Google CS6 alternatives because I'm not spending $600 a year on it. And I ended up coming across this. This is this is Krita, and Krita is a free-to-use software um, that I have literally found almost zero difference between this and Photoshop. Um, the only difference being is that over the next two years, I'm going to spend exactly zero dollars um, for this, and you'd be spending uh, around twelve hundred dollars for uh, Photoshop. This program is comparable to it in just about every way. Um, there's pr 
probably a little bit more documentation. Well, I know there's a lot more documentation for um, um, Photoshop than there is for this. Um, but if you look, just briefly look around, um, you'll find you'll find something. You'll find documentation for it, and there is no lag at all. Um, also, there is pressure sensitivity. You can set your sensitivity. Um, there's the color wheel, um, as I'm sure you're a lot of you pe a lot of you guys are familiar with, um, in regards to when you do art. Um, so, let's just do one of these numbers here. And we'll get that, and then we'll go over it again one more time on the outside, and then we'll bring it a little bit lighter, right there, we bring this up right here, okay, that's looking alright, I'm going to go with some black, okay, um, and as you can see, th there's absolutely pressure sensitivity, and if you use a pen, um, like I do, that that's just it's it's a necessity you have to have things that are will allow you to use uh, pressure sensitive um, uh, will allow you to use your pressure sensitivity um, art rage doesn't um, or art rage does autodesk doesn't um, unless you get their premium software and like I said I have no idea how much that costs um, there's uh, no lag, there's no delay in what I'm doing here to what you're seeing, um, and uh, you know, you, you just there's it's endless. Um, here are their brushes. These are all different brushes. Um, this is your brush creator, also much like uh, what you would find in Photoshop. Um, you can create your own brush to um, do whatever it is that you're trying to stylize. Uh, so you're trying to make some grass and you can make some grass. Um, you just uh, you can draw something over here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever. Um, and, and, and it really is just, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, the, the options are endless. Um, anyway, this, this isn't a tutorial on how to draw because quite frankly, I'm not that good at it anyway. Um, but this whole program was created to be a free to use program for people who don't have thousands of dollars to blow on software um, unless they're doing it you know unless they're a company or somebody like that paid for I'm not super rich so there was no need for me to buy Photoshop I'm not going to use it commercially um, so it's not like I'm going to make that money back um, documentation is a little tough to find um, regarding Krita um, there's not a lot of stuff on YouTube as far as tutorials as to how to use it um, I know there are a couple um, but they're from like a year or two ago and they are uh, pretty outdated um, you can find these quick references um, these are very useful there are a lot of hotkeys um, this probably isn't even a full list um, but again it's it's very useful it's definitely something that I recommend anybody check out that uh, does materials for uh, 3d editing or uh, for 3D modeling um, software and things like that. If you're making a video game um, and you don't want to use um, stuff off the internet uh, because you're maybe trying to publish the game and you don't want to have to ask for permission, this is definitely where I would go to. Um, it's like I said, it's it's insanely useful um, and it's comparable to Photoshop in every way, with the exception of that absolutely preposterous price tag. Um, I will probably be doing a short tutorial on how to use Krita and those um, quick hotkeys that you saw a minute ago. Uh, it's a pretty small picture, so I couldn't blow it up or anything like that for you guys. Um, in any case, um, if you guys enjoyed the video or if you guys would like to see more regarding Krita or some uh, artwork or things like that, please like and subscribe. Uh, put your comments down below and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, so again, this is Lewis with Game Frame Development. You guys have a great day.